Hello, hello. Hello. Juan Alfonso, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. It's a pleasure to listen to you. ¿Qué había pasado? Thanks. No había podido estar en las últimas clases, Juan Alfonso. Disculpe, me, teacher. Fíjese que yo estoy en una posición de, de jefatura de mantenimiento electromecánico. Ok. Y le voy a ser bien honesto. ¿no? Eh, tuve unos problemas en los últimos días para conectarme y estuve saliendo casi a las 10 de la noche de la oficina. Sorry. Sí. sí. Ha estado un poco complicado, teacher, pero he estado siguiendo las clases. El fin de semana me tomé el tiempo para, para ponerme al día de lo que habían visto. Ok. Eh, Recuérdese que... que puede ver la, los videos también en, en YouTube, ¿verdad? Por medio del link y también les he mandado en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, eh, he estado... Algunas de, de PowerPoint. Sí, sí, lo he estado viendo, teacher. Discúlpeme, pero sí, ya me voy a poner al día. Cualquier pregunta pues ahí está, estoy a sus órdenes, si no entiende algo ahí. Fíjese pues. que la única con lo único que yo me he quedado atrasado y que no he cumplido es con el, go, el going. El going to, oh, ok. Sola, pero lo voy a, me voy a dedicar tiempo mañana para ponerme okay, al pero día. Si no entiende, no tenga pena, yo le puedo echar la mano ahí, no hay problema. Sí, si yo no se lo agradezco. Mí, si no es a mi personal, al grupo, si quiere, pues como, como usted sí, guste. exacto. Sí, está bien. Sí, teacher. Okay. Pero muy fino. Le agradezco mucho su apoyo. Ok, a sus, a sus órdenes, Juan. Ok. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Hello, Marleni. teacher. Hi, Hello. Catherine. Marleni, ¿qué pasó ayer? No pudo conectarse, Marleni. Hello, Marleni. Hello, hello. No pudo conectarse ayer, Marleni. Buenas noches. Good night. Oh, el good problema evening. es... Right. Hoy sí, es que tenemos sí. problemas con el internet. De ah. hecho, hoy todo el día no hubo energía. Sorry. Y vino hasta las cinco y media. Entonces, en la casa está medio complicado. Ok, como no banqueros. Y como banquero este día es de locos, así es que... I imagine, ok. But you're here, that's important, you're here, right? Ya está aquí con nosotros, ok? okay. Good, now let's start with the class. Uh, as we always do, we're going to make a review. Review, repaso, right? We're going to make a review. And let me share the, the screen with you. Ok. Section two, right? What's the matter? And we're going to start with 2.4. 2.4, okay. Excuse me, let me check something here. Oh, we finish this, right? Yes, we finish this. And this is the one. Let me see compensation. This is the one. The imperative, right? Our discussion forms. This class, you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. 
Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay. Now let's practice uh, pronunciation. Listen and repeat, please. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I just can't sleep at night. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at you. I'm, I'm going to give you some pills. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Anything? Anything? Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Young. Good. Now let's continue watching the, the video, right? Okay. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Okay, yesterday we were learning that we use imperatives to give instructions to give orders, to give commands, to give advice, consejo, right? Consejo, to give, uh, to make requests, para hacer peticiones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So imperative, right? And with the imperative, we don't use a subject. No se usa sujeto, solo se usa el verbo y el complemento, the verb and the compound, right? The subject is tacit, is tacit el sujeto. Ahí está, pero no lo ponemos. Okay, and we use to make ne negative imperatives, we use don't plus the verb plus the compound, right? So you say, don't work, listen. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. So, not working hard is bad for you, right? Don't stay up late, like you say, no se que Levantado muy tarde, no se desvele, right? And don't drink soda. Those are the suggestions, right? To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a compliment. 
On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now uh, we have some um, sentences here, right? Uh, in imperative, we have negative, and well, in this case, negative and affirmative, right? Don't work too hard. Take cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks, is it, right? Okay, now we're going to read your commentaries. Your commentaries. Okay, Alonso Tejada says, Take a laxative for stomach pain. That's okay. Let me maximize this. Okay. Uh, take a pill every eight hours. Don't eat chili, right? Chili pepper. Don't drink ice water. Okay? Everything is perfect. Just the, the apostrophe. Solo un apostrophe le faltó aquí Alonso, pero está perfecto todo, right? Congratulations, Alonso. Now, Rolando Campos. Drink two glasses of water on an empty stomach. Okay. Period, right? Solo nos faltó un puntito aquí nada más. And don't be too late. That's nice. Thank you, Rolando. Thank you. Alicia Colorado. If you have, a, if you have circulatory problems, uh, coma, don't stay up for long, right? No se desvelen. No se queden viendo las películas de las 12, right? <laughs> don't stop stretching, uh, stretching, right? If you are tired. If you're working too hard, stop for a moment. And according to Alicia, you have to stretch, right? Sleep eight hours. Eight hours. Mm? Okay, hay que dormir. Ocho horas como mínimo, right? De Noemi Cuellar, she said, drink lots of water, period, right? Aquí le falta un puntito. Sleep eight hours. Ana Alvarado, Ana María, don't stay out of house. <laughs> okay. In this moment, it's important, eh? Don't stay out of the house. Don't, don't go to the, <laughs> to the commercial center, right? Today I heard that a lot of people are going to the commercial center, right? Hay muchas personas que están yendo a los centros comerciales, ¿no? No hay necesidad de eso ahorita, ¿verdad? Okay, maybe one day you can go to a park, maybe, right? With the precautions and with, with your mask and keep the distance, right? But that's all. Commercial centers, I think it's not necessary. So Ana Alvarada say, don't stay out the house. It's for your, your health, right? Carolina de Angulo, if you have a headache, Take one pill with breakfast and one with dinner, right? Don't eat fast food. No hamburgers, no pizza, no pupusas, no campero chicken. <laughs> okay. You see? Abel Iraeta, eat vegetables for dinner. Take the cough syrup twice a day. Don't drink coffee. And don't strain your eyes. I mean, okay. That's it, right? Good commentaries. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now, let's continue. Give me a second here. Okay. Uh, 
Now let's check the, the knowledge check, right? Okay. And I have a question. Did all of you finish the 2.9 knowledge check? Todos terminamos el 2.9? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No? Okay. So let's do it together, right? So the sentences, the, the words are call, stay, don't go, don't drink, see, take, don't worry, don't eat, right? And here we have ooh, eight sentences, right? So let's start with Rolando, right? Rolando, with a dentist. Stay, don't drink, uh, call. Yes? No. no. Uh, uh, and see. 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 See a dentist. See a dentist. Too much. And Alicia, too much. Stay, day, don't worry, don't drink, don't eat. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Stay, don't drink, cold, take, don't worry, don't eat, don't go, see. No, don't worry. Y lo hice, teacher, pero no me recuerdo ahorita. You don't remember. Don't worry, don't worry. Marleni, what did you copy, Marleni? No, no, yo no la yo no la he hecho. Okay. Aún no he llegado ahí. So Juan Alfonso, this part. No, okay, don't worry. Yes, con el Don't. Yo? Yes, con el punto, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Now, Catherine, two aspirin. Stay, don't drink, cold, take, don't worry, don't eat, don't, don't go and see. Mm, take. Take. It says two aspirins, right? No faltó la S acá. Okay, number four. To school. Eh, Alonso. Stay, don't drink, cold, take. Don't go. Don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Okay. Now, in bed. In bed, let me see in bed who's going to help me. Noemi, please, Noemi. In bed. Yes, teacher. Stay in bed, don't drink in bed, call in bed. What is the correct option? Okay. Don't, no. Don't go. Don't go. No, 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 a steak. A steak. In, stay. in bed. Stay in bed. Thank you, thank you very much. Claudia Xiomara. Hello, Claudia. Eh, perdón, Claudia Ordoña es su apellido, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, per, disculpe la pregunta. Ayer tuvimos una chica que se llama Claudia. No era usted, ¿verdad, Claudia? No. <risa> Gracias, muy amable. Es que eh, como nos había faltado las últimas tres clases, pero ya está aquí con nosotros, muy importante, ¿verdad? Así es. Gracias. Bienvenida nuevamente. Okay, Gracias. Now, now eh, a doctor, Claudia. Stay, don't drink, call, don't eat. What, what is the correct option? Mm, call. 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 Call a doctor. Okay, good. And Monica Monterrosa. Coffee. Don't drink, teacher. Don't drink. Don't drink, teacher. Huh? Oh, no, please. <laughs> it's not for the teacher, right? Ah, aquí estamos. Eh, Claudia Mariona. Claudia Mariona, me escucha. Hola, Bienvenida. teacher, sí. Bienvenida. Gracias, teacher. Bienvenida. Mira, fíjese que yo estoy un poquito atrasada porque siempre empiezo como una semana, una semana después. Entonces, okay. sí, no estoy actualizada con la plataforma, pero, pero, eh, 
Me voy a actualizar y, y porque no ahorita problema, no he visto ahí, nada. Pero está en el grupo de WhatsApp, Claudia. Eh, fíjese que creo que ni, no, no me he metido todavía al enlace, porque como hasta ayer estuve en la primera clase uh -huh. y ayer tuve problemas con el audio. Sí, sí, entonces sí, ahora sí. Ya, ya, ajá. No nos escuchaba, ¿verdad? Porque exacto, le decía, Claudia. solo estaba viendo las pantallas y era como okay. que no estaba, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. ajá. Pero hoy sí, eso, ya está con nosotros. Pero hoy sí. Ok, <risa> sí. welcome. Bien, sí, bienvenida, sí, bienvenida. Gracias, sí, sí. Okay, gracias, entonces, sí, eh, vamos a decir Claudia Mariona y Claudia eh, Ordoña, ¿verdad? Para Ordoña. <risa> Ah, sí, vale. para, para no confundirnos. Muy bien. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Now, eh, Josué, please. Welcome, Josué. Eh, number eight. Any candy? Candy. Ooh. It's okay. Stay. Don't drink. Cold. Don't worry. Don't eat. What is the correct? Huh? Don't take. Take. Take, take any candy. Okay, wait. Por aquí ya tenemos take. Take two aspirin, right? Mm. Don't eat. But... Don't, don't eat. Ah, okay. Don't eat any candy. Okay, now we're going to check it out together, right? Eh, Lorena, hoy no se escucha, Lorena. Sigue con el problema del micrófono, Lorena. Ok, don't worry, don't worry, no, no hay problema, sigamos. Ok, let's do it together, let me see. Oops, only one, right? Call a doctor. And see a dentist. Ah, but it's the same, listen. Personally, I consider it the same. See a doctor, see a dentist, the, the same. Call a dentist, call, a, call a, a doctor, is the same, right? So we only change this, right? It's called? Uh-huh, it's called, right? Call. And sí. C. C, right? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Pero ahí se puede utilizar las dos, ¿verdad? Ah, no, I, that's what I say, es lo que yo dije. Que para mí ajá, la doctor... Solo que... Es, ajá, because you can call a dentist or you can call a doctor. You can see a dentist, ajá. you can see, you a, see a, a doctor. doctor. So it's the same, it's the same. Es solo por okay. cuestión de que en la plataforma tiene que ser una, la, la correcta. Right? Ok. But you know it's true. Thank you very much. Congratulations. That's nice. Very good. Now, uh, the reading again. The reading again. So please. Simple ways to improve your health, right? Ya lo vimos ayer. Vamos a escuchar nuevamente. Music. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Let me see here, right? Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Okay. 10 formas, 10 maneras de mejorar su salud. Yesterday we discussed, now we listen, uh, we watch the video again. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk and cheese, have calcium. 
10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. Okay, any question about this video? Any question? Now we're going to read the commentary, right? The commentaries. Carolina de Angulo, let me see these commentaries. Get enough calcium for your bones, that's, that's right? Drink eight glasses of water, minimum, right? Use sunblock to protect your skin, especially if you're very chalito. <laughs> Necessary the, the protection. Thank you, Carolina. Rolando again, I like to fill out crossword, crossword puzzle, right? Period. Aquí nos faltó el puntito, Rolando. I have a glass of milk oh, every morning. That's nice, right? Milk is necessary. Okay? If it is a, of goat, cow, doesn't matter, right? Aunque sea de leche de cabra, pero hay que tomar una poquito lechita, right? Well, good. Yeah. <laughs> Noemi Cuellar, eat at, at the time, at time, I right? support, right? Eat at time. At the time, yes. Pirio, aquí le faltó un puntito a, a Noemi, right? And take your medicine. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you for your commentaries, Noemi. Thank you very much. Yes, Ana Alvarado, don't drink soda, right? That's okay. Never eat, drink soda. I will tell you one is personal experience. Uh, one of my sons had a pain on the bone, right? Uno de mis hijos tenía un dolor intenso en los huesos. Lo lleva al doctor, and the doctor says, no soda, don't drink soda. Okay, and then I will say, uh, doctor, y, y cuando le puedo dar soda? Nunca, no es necesario, nunca es necesario tomar soda. Jamás en la vida le de soda. <laughs> okay, so soda is not necessary. Don't drink soda, yes? Now eat vegetable, that's nice. Running, do running, says, right? Do running. That's okay, thank you, Ana Maria. And Abel, sit properly. Oh, let me see. Sit properly. Okay. Some people sit this way, right? Or the other way. <laughs> okay. No. Sit properly. Uh, eat fruit and vegetables. Don't drive sleepless. Ooh, that's nice, right? No maneje cuando ande con sueño, eh? Because goodbye. Descansa en paz en los chorros, right? <laughs> okay. Exercise regularly. Exercise regularly. That's it. Thank you, Abel, for your commentaries. Now we're going to go to the, sorry, any question for this? Questions? No, okay, now let's go to the knowledge check. Now, again, I have a question. Uh, ¿Ya lo hicieron todos? Yes? Okay. Now yes. We're going to do it together, yes, okay. do it together right? Now, let me see. Uh, Ayer prometí que algunos no, no habían participado, les iba a dar participación. Pero vamos a ver, ok. Noemi, please. You begin, Noemi. Eh, to get yes, exercise. Sure. Yes, give me a second. To get exercise. Eat breakfast, protect your skin, go for a walk, or stretch for five minutes. Protect your skin. Protect your skin. Ok, good. Look, to get exercise, right? Now, I, I suppose it's only one. Okay, now, to help your bones. To help your bones. Para ayudar los huesitos. Let me see. Uh, yes. Let me see. Okay, Marlene. Los que no estuvieron ahí me van a ayudar. Okay. To help your bones. Para ayudar a sus huesitos, Marlene. Get enough calcium. Plus your teeth is pasar el hilo dental por los dientes, right? Drink eight glasses of water. Stretch. No, tirarse. Stretch. Two, one, two. Okay. So, get enough calcium. Get enough calcium. Thank you very much. Number three. To help your muscles. Musculo, right? Uh, uh, let me see. Um, okay. Vamos a pedirle a... A Claudia, Claudia Mariona. Yes, Claudia. Okay. 
To help your muscles, para proteger los músculos, Claudia Mariona. Protect sí, your skin. Sí, yo no estoy viendo la plataforma. Ah. No la estoy viendo ahorita la plataforma. Oh, yes, but, Solo but estoy right escuchando now. la clase. Ah, I understand. Ok. Sí. No, o sea, no, no puedo estar... Uh, no puedo estar viendo mi, mi, mi computadora ahorita. No, 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 no. Ah, no. ok, mm -hmm. I understand. Sí. Solo el audio. Sí, correcto. Ah, ok. Va a disculpar, No, no problem, no problem, I understand. Don't worry. Entonces vamos a pedirle a Claudia Ordóñez. Fresh for five minutes, teacher. All right, Claudia Ordóñez, can you hear me? Eh, bájelo un poco porque hay cuatro opciones, ¿verdad? Yes, wait, 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 wait. Ahorita, ahorita. Ahí estamos. Yes. Stretch for five minutes. Stretch for five minutes. Thank you. Now, Ana María. To keep your gums and see it, right? To keep, to keep your, your gum healthy. Protect your skin. Take a time out. Get enough calcium or close your teeth, Ana María. Close your teeth. Close your teeth. Nice. To have enough energy for the morning. Let me see. Catering. Stretch. Go for a walk, eat breakfast, or do something to challenge. Your mm. brain, okay, right? Eat, eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. And to challenge your brain, Ana Carolina. Do crossword puzzles. Okay. Uh, yes. Permítame un segundito. Okay. okay. Ahí estamos. Okay. Do crossword puzzles, water, do something different, or walking is a good exercise. Carolina? Do, do cross puzzle or okay. read a new book. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let me check. Yes, 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 yes. My goodness. Only one, right? The number one. Number one. Uh, Monica Monterrosa. Help me, Monica. To get exercise, what do you do? Eat breakfast, go for a walk, or stretch? Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Okay, let me check. Okay, good. That's it, right? We did it together. So we officially finish the section number two. The section number two, right? I was watching your progress. Your progress. And I was watching section number one. Look at this. Section number one. Cling. Nice. Section number two. Cling. That's it. Congratulations, group. Okay, now we're going to start with section three, right? Ahorita vamos a comenzar la sección tres. Okay? Today and tomorrow. Ahora y mañana y el jueves vamos a hacer el examen de medio curso. Midterm, right? Eh, le voy a dar las instrucciones. Obviamente no le voy a dar las respuestas. Eh, pero vamos a, a, a hacer un pequeño repaso y luego les digo cómo hacer el examen, ¿ok? Eso va a ser jueves, Thursday, next Thursday. But for the moment, look, ya Todos tenemos el 100%. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Now, we're going to start with section number three. Section number three, right? That's it, right? Section three. You can miss it, right? Now, before to start section three, I will share my, my presentation. My PowerPoint presentation. Eh, para Claudia Mariona, esta presentación la voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp para que la pueda ver, ¿verdad? Ok, gracias, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Now, 
Look. Today we're going to learn about places and things, right? The pronunciation of compound nouns, that means nombres compuestos. We're going to practice the pronunciation, right? We're going to learn about preposition of place. In, on, at, next to, around, across, etc., etc., right? Preposition of place. Good. This is for today's class. And the learning objective. Learning objective. Please, Carolina, can you help me? Can you read the objective for the class, Carolina? By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places. And see schools where you can get different things. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, so we're going to uh, learn this vocabulary, right? And we're going to learn about some places. And we're going to practice the vocabulary only, right? Primero vamos a practicar el vocabulario y después en la plataforma vamos a practicar la, la conversación, right? Now, drugstore, eh, sorry, el vocabulario de la plataforma va después. Okay, now. Drugstore, department store, restroom, miss, on, on the corner of, across from, next to, and between. Sorry, por aquí tengo un mensaje. Van a disculpar, vamos a leerlo. Ah, uh, Lorena, todavía no funciona el micrófono, dice Lorena. Okay, no problem, Lorena. No problem. Now, please. Drugstore, department store, red's room, miss, on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between, right? Okay. Uh, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Drugstore, department store. Red room, miss, on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. Now I have a question, I have a question for Alonso. Okay, Alonso, tell me another way to say drugstore. Otra forma de decir drugstore, Alonso. Hello, teacher. Listen, I want you to tell me, Alonso, another way, another form to say drugstore. Otra forma de decir drugstore. <sighs> Ni idea, teacher. No, no idea. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let me see. Um, Catherine play test. Catherine, drugstore, drugs. Drugstore. Uh, drugstore. Yeah. Catherine, can you hear me, Catherine? Yes, sí. Vení. No, Catherine. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Ah, okay. Finally, Alonso, thank you for that time. Ahí en el maletín está el voladito para sacar el chip. Y me pasas el teléfono. Rolando ha dejado el micrófono encendido ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Department store. Department store es similar to Simán, you know. Uh, a department for men, for women, for children. Department store, right? Like uh, uh, Samuels, like um, Prisma. Etc., etc., right? Restroom. Restroom is a public bathroom. It's a public bathroom, right? Miss. This is not señorita, no, because Miss is with capital letter, right? Señorita es con cap, eh, letra mayúscula. In this case, is Mrs. Perderse. 
For example, you say, I missed the exam. Me perdí la clase, right? And then we have some prepositions. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, and between. Vamos a aprender cómo usarlas en esta clase. Okay? Now, to continue, we're going to uh, go to the next topic, right? Related with preposition of places, right? Preposition. And let me see. Um, Marleni. Marleni, I need you to read the book, the lesson objective, Marleni. Read, Marleni. Pardon? I need you to read a lesson objective for 3.5. Nos lee el objetivo para la clase, please. Lesson objective. The, the, the end of this class, you, um, you will learn preposition of place in order to give direction. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with Illustrate, 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 illustrate how this topic in use in a real life setting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, right? Preposition of place to give direction, right? Para dar direcciones. And a conversation in which we're going to use this preposition in una situación real, right? Real life setting. Thank you very much, Marlene, thank you. Now, let's start with um, the prepositions in, on, and at, right? En la plataforma tenemos unas preposiciones, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a, a ver estas acá. Uh, porque aquí está incluido on, right? Okay, then. Preposition. Aquí se me fue una S de más. Pero es preposition, right? Okay, now. On. When do you use on? You use on with names of streets and specifical physical... Aquí también se me fue una H, sorry. Physical locations, right? Use on with names of streets and specific physical locations. Nombres de calles y... Uh, eh, podemos decir ubicación de lugares físicos específicos, right? Okay, for example, on Main Street, on the street, on España Avenue, on the right, on the corner, on the left. So those are examples when do you use on, right? In general, we use on for surface. Cuando hablamos de superficie, vamos a usar on, right? Okay, now. Eh, I'm giving you an extra example. Let me see. Eh, Juan Alfonso. Can you give me one extra example, Juan Alfonso? How to use on? Repeat. <laughs> Juan Alfonso, I need to give you an extra example. How to use on, right? Extra, right? Okay, so... Now we're going to Can you help me, Monica? Octubre, 35 por 4. Por ahí creo que me han dejado un micrófono encendido, ¿verdad? Okay, thank you. Now, Monica, please. Give me an Can you repeat, time. teacher? I need an extra example, Monica. How to use on. You can use the names of the city, uh, 
uh, the names of the streets and the city, right? Si quiere usted nombres de la ciudad donde vive usted, San Miguel, Santa Ana, San Salvador. On the street central. On Central Street. On Central Street. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue. On, right? Then we have... <coughs> in. We use in with names of cities, countries, continents, and other locations. Again, cities... Countries, continents, and other locations. In the neighborhood, in el vecindario, right? In Argentina, in the center of town. In Africa, in Cujucuyo, in the ocean. Okay, only that, right? Now, another example. Uh, let me see. Eric, Eric Castellanos, can you give me another example, please? Eric? Hello, Eric. Okay, so. In El Salvador. In El Salvador. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now, next one. At, when do you use at? Use at for buildings and addresses. Para edificios o construcciones o casas, right? And addresses y direcciones, right? At the theater, at the train station. In El Salvador, we don't have train, train station, right? But maybe bus station. At the supermarket. At 10 Arce Street, mean, notice that say the number of the house. Aquí estamos diciendo el número de la casa. Si solo dijéramos Arce Street, sería on Arce Street, right? Pero cuando decimos algo específico, el número de la casa, so it's at, right? At the bank. Okay? So these are examples. In some cases, for example, when I say at the bank, you can say in the bank and at the bank. In the supermarket, at the supermarket. In the train station, at the train station. And at the... Aquí se me fue otra, otra <laughs> palabra. <laughs> at the theater, right? At the theater o in the theater. Tenemos las dos opciones, pero cuando usamos at, nos estamos refiriendo a dirección. Y cuando usamos in, nos referimos que estamos dentro o fuera del lugar. ¿Ok? Pero ambas preposiciones se pueden hacer en este caso. La única que sí no podemos usar in es cuando damos una dirección exacta, cuando decimos el número de la casa, ¿ok? Aquí, por ejemplo, no podría ser in 10 Arts Street, no. At. Cuando den su número de casa, por ejemplo, tienen que usar at, right? Cuando hablen en inglés. Ok, good. Now, I don't know if you have any questions about the propositions. In, on, and at. Any question? Este es solo cuestión de memorizárselo, ¿verdad? Okay, good. So now we're going to go to the to the platform, right? Okay. Hoy vamos a ir a la plataforma entonces. Let me see. Okay. Here. Now, section three, ladies and gentlemen, section number three. You can miss it. No te lo puede perder, right? Okay, vocabulary, places and things. Let's watch the video together. Come on. Vocabulary, places and things. 3.1, right? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. 
Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so uh, tomorrow, right, you can give your commentaries using uh, the names of these places and the activities you can do there, right? For example, you can pay bills in a bank, at a bank, right? You can buy shoes at a department store. You can get gasoline in a gas station. You can eat food at a restaurant, right? Etc. Etc. Okay, now let's practice uh, pronunciation. Let's practice pronunciation. Give me a second here. Okay, now repeat after me, please. A bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gas station. Listen. Station, a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, a supermarket. Okay, so I wait for your commentaries. Wait for your commentaries. Espero que me den sus comentarios. Ah, okay, listen. Ya Ana Alvarado, Ana María, ya comenzó a hacer sus comentarios. Congratulations, Ana María. That's it, right? Tomorrow I want to see more commentaries from you, right? Okay, now, knowledge check. Here, you're going to listen to the Anderson family conversation to answer the question, right? Vamos a escuchar a una familia, los Anderson, y vamos a responder preguntas sobre ellos. For example, number one. Where is Jane going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? ¿A dónde va a comprar su traje de baño, Jane? Right? Uh, en el supermercado, en un department store o en la playa. What does mom need from the supermarket? ¿Qué necesita la mamá de los Andersons del supermercado? Okay. Uh, groceries o comestibles, right? Clothes, ropa, or cookies for dessert. Aquí nos faltó una S, es postre, right? Postre, dessert. What does need, that need for the drugstore? ¿Qué necesita el papá? A swimsuit, un traje de baño, para verse sexy. Cookies, o aspirin. ¿Qué, ¿Qué necesita el papá? Aspirin. No, 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 Rolando. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret, right? Where yeah, is Mike going to go with his dad? ¿Dónde va a ir Mike con su papá? Okay? So you take one of the answers. Yes? Tomorrow. Lo vamos a hacer mañana juntos. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Now, and pronunciation. Listen, please. Pronunciation. Only to practice, right? Equals a person, a plane, learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. The stress is what we call the, the, the high pitch, right? 
lo que nosotros llamamos la, el acento, la fuerza de voz, en inglés le decimos stress, stress. O sea, no es que esté preocupada la palabra, ¿verdad? No es que es eh, la mayor fuerza de voz, ¿ok? Y aquí tenemos nombres compuestos. Nombres compuestos son eh, que están compuestos de dos o tres o más palabras, ¿verdad? En este caso, post office. Vamos a decir post office o post office, ¿ok? Vemos acá el, el puntito que nos indica que primero va post y luego office. Post office, right? Good. Listen, please. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now is your turn. No se le escucha, teacher. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, now I need your commentaries, right? Your commentaries after the video for tomorrow. But now we're going to make a practice. Uh, this post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, only the boys in this class are going to repeat this part, right? And I'm going to pay attention to the pronunciation, right? Especially in the intonation, right? Then drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, and the department store only for the girls. Only for the girls, right? Okay, now boys, ready with the first one? Post office, gas station, red room, and coffee shop, right? Ready? One, two, three. Boys, ¿qué pasó con los chicos? Only you boys. Post office. Okay, wait, Post wait. office. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, two three. Post, Post office. Post office. Gas station. No, station. station. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. I hear a girl. Escuché una chica por ahí. Only boys, right? Only boys. Ready? Okay, yes. one, two, yes. three. Post office. office. Gas, Gas station. station. Rest, Rest room. room. Coffee shop. 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 Okie dokie now, girls. Ready? One, two, three. Drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department, 
Sorry, girls. Los chicos lo hicieron un poquitito mejor. Forget that the first word is stress. Drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, market, bookstore, department store. I like your energy. I like your energy, right? Now, because we don't have more much time, we're going to just check the video, right? Nos pasamos. Okay. We'll only watch the video. Solo vamos a ver el video y mañana lo discutimos juntos, ¿ok? Good. Preposition of place. Only watch the video, please. It's on the corner of main prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Uh, well, uh, it says for men, right? Eh, dice cuatro minutos y solo nos quedan dos minutos de la clase. Así es que uh, vamos a dejarlo ahí. Ok. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let's close this. Ok, good. No, I don't know if you have any extra question. Eh, no sé si hay alguna pregunta extra de los temas que vimos ahora. Básicamente vimos las preposiciones in, on, and at, right? Pero nos quedamos ahí en pausa con otras preposiciones que vamos a ver mañana en el video. Yes, tomorrow. Y vamos a hacer ejercicios. Eh, hasta ahorita hemos llegado hasta el punto uh, 3.7 sería, ¿verdad? Que es el video que nos hizo falta. No, perdón, 3.6. Ahí nos quedamos, ¿ok? Y hoy comenzamos la sección número 3, section number 3, right? Hasta yes, ahí vamos eh, trabajando. Yes. Recuérdense que ustedes pueden adelantarse si quieren o retroceder, como ustedes quieran. Y siempre que hay dudas, ahí estamos en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Now, any extra question? No. No? Okay. Thank you very much. Bienvenidos los nuevos y pues gracias a los demás por estar participando siempre en clases. Congratulations. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.